my goodness, I haven't done this for ages. What is up, people of the internet? I am clueless me because I'm exactly that. I'm a little bit sick, so if you're gonna hear that, I'm sorry. Basically, in the weekend just gone, I went to Auckland again for another concert. I didn't vlog or film any of it because I had organised the trip, so I was worried that something was going to go wrong so I was more focused on making sure nothing went wrong. This is a kind of a video diary because I don't have footage from the trip so I'm just gonna tell you about it so then I have a record of it I guess. I went to Auckland with my friend Emily. This is Emily. <laughs> Emily, viewer, viewer Emily. And we were going up to see Shawn Mendes because Emily had never been to a concert. We actually had an exam the day we were supposed to fly up. Luckily we both had the exam exam so we were like in the same place so it was slightly easier. Our flight wasn't till about 8 so by the time we got there it was like 20 past 9, 9.30 and then we still had to take our public transport from the airport to the place we were staying. I don't know the exact time it took actually. Oh my god chicken. Chicken was, chicken was difficult. Okay so basically Oh, my battery's flashing at me. Basically, their check-in time finished before we were even going to get there. So, check-in closed at, I think it might have been like 8. And our flight was at 8, so, you know, we were going to miss it by quite a while. So, I pre-organised with the hotel that they were supposed to give me a code. And then I would put my code into this machine and it would give me the key to my room. We got to the hotel. We tried to put the code in multiple times and it didn't work. And... So I started panicking because why it doesn't work. A guy that might have worked there, I'm not sure, he came and let us in because you need a little chip thing to get in the door. Just told us to go up to reception, which was on the second floor, and ring the bell. So we went up to reception on the second floor and rung the bell. And nobody answered. We kind of just stood there. There was a number on the sign that was like the after hours number. So I rung that and I was like, well... How are we supposed to get into our room? The code's not working. And he said that the key box thing had actually broken down. So my key was in an envelope in the slot where you're supposed to get your key from. But we didn't check that. We didn't even think because the machine wasn't working. So we obviously, you know, didn't assume that it would be in there. So we went back outside and got our key and then went back up to our room. Basically, my cousins, like Britt and my other cousins, were staying in the same place as us, but they were on a different floor. So they were two floors above us. All the floors, they had kind of this rail, like they were in a square, and they had this rail, and you could look over the rail and see all the floors, like the rails of all the floors. I'll put a picture if I have one. So we would go out onto the front of our room and look up. Their room was across from us, two floors up, so they could look over their rail and look down at us, and we just had a conversation <laughs> between the two floors. Emily and I realised... <laughs> We didn't have any food. Luckily, the countdown that we wanted to go to was 24 hours. It being 11 o'clock on a Friday night, we walked in the dark to countdown. It was kind of scary. There was drunk people everywhere. There was one angry guy. He was like kicking stuff and we were waiting to cross the road so we literally couldn't go anywhere. We didn't do much else that night, I don't think. We just hung out. Sad day comes around and we get up kind of early, get ourselves organised, drink our caramel lattes, and then we walked to Green Street, which if you've never been to Auckland, which if you're not from New Zealand, you probably wouldn't have, but um, it's just a big street that has lots of shops on it, so we figured that was the easiest way to go. So my cousins were going to Rainbow's Inn during the day, which is a theme park, but we weren't going because we were going to shop. But we had organised with them to meet back at the hotel, at about four-ish because we were all going to go to the concert together because they were going to the same concert. So we walked to Queen Street and went shopping and then about one-ish, just before one-ish, we decided to go back to our hotel because we wanted to get food but we didn't want to carry our bags of shopping everywhere because it was heavy. And as we were on our way back, there was this guy, he was handing out these Uber Eats card things, like coupon codes, which was weird because the day before... We'd actually been talking about, oh, they would have Uber here. Where we live, we don't have that. We decided that we were going to order food. Instead of going to get it, we got Nando's. And then when we had to go pick it up, 
the elevator wasn't working and we were on the 10th floor and there was like this weird guy as we were walking out but I'm not gonna go into that because it was it was interesting after that we didn't have anything really to do and it was like two o'clock there was literally nothing to do in our hotel room so what did we do we went back to Queen Street and spent more money we were all in like the hotel we were in our separate rooms so we could get ready. We were just hanging out for like an hour or two and then got ready and went to the concert. The concert was pretty good. The opening act was Julia Michaels, which was really cool. She looked like she was having such a great time. She did so well. shirt. Shawn Mendes was selling all his merch and she had a couple shirts there on sale so I brought one because why not? But Sean was great. Apparently there was one point where he forgot his words but during the actual concert neither Emily or I noticed because we were, I don't even know. We would have just assumed it was part of the song because we were just having a good old time. We got R18 bands so that we could buy alcohol if we wanted to and we just felt real special because we had our R18 band. Sean was amazing. He sounds as good live as he does in his songs. the airport, checked into our flights, checked in our luggage, then we went and got food and we just sat down with our food and then we looked up at the, the big departure screen on the wall and we found our flight and it said go to gate. When we lined up to board our flight and we had our boarding passes and everything, they scanned mine and the machine made a weird noise. I could just feel myself beginning to freak out. Like I've spent money on this, why? Why would it be wrong? Why wouldn't it work? Why wouldn't it just let me on the plane? So the lady that scanned it kind of got the other lady that was there and was like, well... They just showed me my FPOS card and they asked me if it's mine. And I wasn't even aware that I'd lost it. I brought food, paid for it. And then in the time from I paid for it and when I went and sat down to eat my food and then went to my gate, I lost my card and there wasn't that much time. And in that time, someone handed it in, they managed to track me down, find out what exact flight I'm on, because they gave it to me as we were boarding the plane. I don't know if this was a good video to film. I just thought it would be beneficial for me in the future. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. If you did, feel free to let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't enjoy it, then don't, I guess. If you're new or haven't already, you can subscribe to see more of this, more or less every week. And I will see you whenever I see you next. I'm sorry for not uploading much. Bye. You say you